New tap room opens up in Ocean Beach, but it's not for beer. Heather Lake is live there this morning. Revel, what? with all the details, don't you like kombucha? Kombucha. What's that? What's that? I do. Uh, yeah, it's kombucha. You call it the booch. Um, so here's the deal. It might be kind of harsh to like start off your Monday morning with like alcohol. I'm like, oh, this is kind of a lot for people. But you know what? Summer is on the way. If you want to fill up that cooler with something to take to your party or the pool or wherever you're going, um, this is definitely one of those like fun little kind of drinks that you're going to be packing um, for your summer or maybe your holiday weekend, whatever you're doing. I've got Roberto. He is the brewer here. If you have not tried a hard kombucha, you've got to try this. So I have seen these cans all over San San Diego and in all the grocery stores. I did not know that it was made right here in San Diego. And now we have this yes. tap room right here in Ocean Beach. The flavors are so cool. Do you have a favorite so far? Uh, my favorite so far is watermelon mint. Okay. Um, it's very good, it's sweet with the mint, very re refreshing. It's very good flavor. A lot of people don't realize too that Nova is kind of the baby of Novo, which we have some of the cans over here. So you guys have a huge brewery down in Chula Vista. We're going to give everyone a little bit of a history lesson this morning so they know all about your brand and what you guys are, are brewing. People love fermenting and brewing and distilling in San Diego. <laughs> yeah. There's just a lot of it going on. So this is kind of the newest of it. So right here in Ocean Beach, now people can come in belly up to the bar and do a little tasting so that yes. they can get a little of all the flavors. Um, I know behind you is the wall of the flavors. Your newest one is Sexy Mojito. Yes. That's, that's right. what everybody's loving. Yes. And it's skyrocketing. People are loving the, the new flavor. Um, so it's basically this little guy here. Yeah. Well, Sexy they definitely have a little pop to it when you see the cans and you're, yeah. and you're doing your shop and you're like, okay, I might try something like that. It's pretty, you know, got the little curb appeal to it. Let's do a tasting. So this is how it would sure. work. Basically, if you come in here, you would get four tastes and you could do beer, kombucha, kombucha. hard seltzer. You choose all of the flavors that we have here. Okay. Um, we're going to taste the sexy mojito. Okay, so, let's do it. Yeah. So you can choose four different um, tasters. They put the little name on the chalkboard over here, which I love. And by the way, they have non-alcoholic kombuchas as well. How do you make, uh, go ahead and keep pouring, and okay. I'll just keep asking you a few questions. <laughs> um, kombucha is made with like, uh, it's basically tea, right? Yes. And, and you're fermenting tea, but it also has this really interesting kind of layer of stuff to it. It's a scoby. <laughs> it's called a scoby. And you have, yeah, can you I bring have that over here? I, mean, I don't know if people are going to want to see this early in the morning. <laughs> I kind of get grossed out by it, but it's that's just a simple. So what does it do? So a scoby is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Mm -hmm. It's full of probiotics. So probiotics means that it's bacteria and yeast that's going to make you healthy, like your gut. So it's going to improve your immune, immune digestive system. So it means that if you consume this, it will break down your, all your food and you'll make you, you feel better. People are saying that we get to have our happy hour and help our gut health all in the same. So there is a little bit of, you know, the, the mild health benefits um, while you're having your happy hour. I'm going to try the mojito. You can fill that with another pretty one okay. as well. Um, I love the colors and how, <laughs> how um, pretty it is. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. You that like is it. really <laughs> good. Okay. And not too bad for <laughs> before 7 o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Um, so the, the really cool thing, too, is that it's like 6% to 8% alcohol. So it's not like a crazy high. I know a lot of us um, with a percentage of alcohols in beer in San Diego, a lot of people have... I don't know, like 12% alcohol in some of the, the beers that people are brewing here. So this is something where if you wanted to have a couple of them, you could enjoy with friends. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how you got in okay. to all of this brewing coming up in the next hour. Does that sound good? Yes, sounds good. Okay, and you can take that scoby and hide it somewhere <laughs> okay. for, for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why that creeps me out a little bit. Does it creep you out, Shali? I'm uh -huh. like, there's like things floating in that. You're not going to find that in any of the cans, though. Mm. They said, don't worry, she's staying in there. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, Heather. Thank you.